few would argue that United's main rivals for the championship will be Liverpool, whom we see now playing Swansea at the Vetch Field. Swansea as yet unbeaten at home and Liverpool yet to lose to anyone. Your commentator, John Motson. A significant reunion between Graham Souness, who took over the Liverpool captaincy here at the Vetch Field in an FA Cup tie last January, and Ray Kennedy, who moved from Liverpool to Swansea in the same month and has since been appointed captain of the Welsh club. Seven of the Swansea squad have been named in the Wales party for next Wednesday's European Championship qualifier here against Norway, including substitute Leighton James, and there's no place for Ian Walsh, who scored three of Swansea's 12 goals in their European match last Wednesday. Liverpool bring in Mark Lawrenson at number five and Craig Johnson at number six because Alan Hansen and Ronnie Whelan are unfit and they too have an experienced international as substitute. Terry McDermott, whose last senior appearance was back in April. John Toshak still being tipped as Bob Paisley's successor, but his seat on the touchline here could be threatened by a forthcoming disciplinary appearance before the Welsh FA. Referee this afternoon, Alex Hamill from Wolverhampton. Liverpool defending the only unbeaten record in the first division this season. Indeed, they haven't lost a league match away from home since Swansea beat them here last February. Which avenged Liverpool's victory here by four goals to nil in the FA Cup a month earlier. Rykovic for Swansea. Ray Kennedy. Jeremy Charles. That was Marustic looking for Robbie James. Kenny Dalglish. Oh, beautiful play by him. Craig Johnston going through the inside left position. Alan Kennedy. Latchford, Robbie James, Curtis. There was some debate between referee and linesman before that corner was awarded. Liverpool defenders thought it should have been a goal kick. But Colin Irwin, another former Liverpool player, has gone forward. He's wearing number four. Latchford is on the goal line in front of Grobelar. And that's Jeremy Charles. Well, they know all there is to know about Liverpool because they all used to play for them. John Toshak, Phil Borsmer and Doug Livermore. Rush. Nicely laid off to Dalgleish, playing deeper these days. Craig Johnston started a run on the left and so is Alan Kennedy here. Lawrenson. Sooners. Alan Kennedy. Sooners. Oh, offside. Offside, not against Johnston, who had the shot, but against Alan Kennedy, who pressed further on. But early in the match, Liverpool are making good use of their left-hand side. Alan Kennedy pushing up to support and then getting into an offside position. James. Away by Souness, as far as Hodgson tries to turn Stevenson, who fouls him. There's a nice, lively pace to the game early on. Here's Lawrenson for Liverpool. Kennedy looking for Johnston. That's Irwin.
Matsunas. And still, that's a fine run, but he's gone into a little bit of a cul-de-sac and found Johnson beautifully to get out of it. Kennedy. Dalglish. Kennedy. Oh, back off Davis and touched in by Ian Rush. 14 minutes gone. And Ian Rush, for whom Swansea was a lucky ground last season in the FA Cup, opens the scoring here in the league. Alan Kennedy put into a good position, but Di Davis, unhappy perhaps with the way the ball came back off him, Rush put it in, and Liverpool lead. means Ian Rush has now scored in the last four matches continuing his consistent form of last season here's Curtis for Swansea Azi Abdic James and he was Swansea's top scorer last season Robbie James with 14 in the league The way that Hodgson and Rush push up on these defenders and cause them to make errors has helped Alan Kennedy to get through here and Di Davis committing himself well. possession football of Liverpool's clearly evident in the first half it's the way they've made their name down the years they're pushing the ball about with great confidence Sammy Lee Phil Neal finding time here to join the attack it's checked a little now but still they have men to spare Sunis Craig Johnston coming in and Marustic, under some stress on that side of the field, gets the ball out for a corner. Hodgson being marked by Stevenson. The ball played to Alan Kennedy. Now Sunis. Low in again for Kennedy, that's dangerous. And pulled back for Rush to turn in, number two. From a very good ball by Douglas. 22 minutes gone. And it's now becoming very embarrassing for Swansea. Kenny Douglas getting in behind the defence to take the pass from Sunis turning the ball back across the goal and it was easy there for Rush who gets two now as he did on this ground in the FA Cup last season well one made the point in the first five minutes that the left flank of Liverpool was looking ominous for the right flank of Swansea and that's the way it's worked out both the goals have come down that side and Dalglish who made that one looks for Rush again Craig Johnston running up here he comes taken out by Rykovic here's Neil 2-0 the score 
and it's well deserved. Sammy Lee, Hodgson rushes on the far side. Oh, what a volley! And he's got it back straight from the throw. And Hodgson. Well, David Hodgson with the header, but set up as those Liverpool supporters would be quick to acknowledge by a man who can do no wrong in this first half. And that's number nine, Ian Rush. What a match he's having up to now. Douglish. Johnston, oh, right across. Rush looking for the touch as well. Craig Johnston who threw himself for the header. What a good piece of approach play again by Liverpool and by Douglish in particular. So, the damage done here in the first half against the Welsh club by a Welshman, Ian Rush, whose two goals have taken his total to the season to six. And the damage done particularly down Swansea's right flank. Alan Kennedy made the first goal and Dalgleish the second. On well, Anfield last season in the league, I can recall the score being 2-0 to Swansea and Liverpool coming back to draw the match now the roles are reversed with that particular task facing Swansea there goes Curtis ball was out turned there by Mark Lawrenson he's so confident on the ball and that was a nice touch by Johnston to Dalgleish and Johnston again little twist taking him past two Oof. well Johnston showing there that he can take on opponents in a difficult part of the field really and not a good angle but the shot was powerful Thompson, Hodgson out on the right, three the other way, four if you count Sammy Lee, and into Craig Johnston, and it came off Reykjavik. And had it not done so, I rather think Ian Rush would have been in for his hat-trick. Hodgson coming in at the back and fouling Stevenson as he did so. And Swansea about to make a substitution which is hardly a surprise. They're going to take off Chris Marustic. And replace him with Leighton James, who scored in both the league meetings between Swansea and Liverpool last season. And they badly need a lift from him now to the Welsh club. Well, Swansea will have to score to put the game back on the boil because Liverpool, for the moment, have got things all their own way. There's a case of a player pinching a few yards to take a throw and the referee awarding it the other way at first, but the linesman, I think, has got a point he wants to make anyway.
I think it may be something that uh, was said there by Hodgson. And for speaking out of turn, he is cautioned. Little triangle by Liverpool to get the ball down the line, but it was out. Liverpool now to make a substitution. The player going off is David Hodgson, who has been booked. And the player coming on is Terry McDermott, whose last senior appearance for Liverpool was way back on April the 7th. He was with England in Spain, but never kicked a ball in the World Cup. So he's back in the action after quite a long time. Rykovic. On by Ray Kennedy, Charles, Lawrenson. Staying cool as Curtis closed in. throw looking for rush Dalgleish coming up just outside him still Dalgleish pulling it back and Rykovic read his intentions take any credit away from Liverpool but I think the Swansea staff might agree today that their team haven't done themselves justice it's a matter of debate how much you put that down to the opposition here's Dalglish and Craig Johnston's in space he's kept it in I just wonder whether if he'd stuck the left foot out rather than the right, he might have had a better chance of making that. A quarter of an hour left, and still Liverpool leading by those two simple first half goals. Colin Irwin's pass going astray. Alan Kennedy for Liverpool. Doug Leash. And here comes Rush. Craig Johnston using his arms. Leighton James. Hadzi Abdic. Curtis. Back again to James. Lawrence hasn't put a foot wrong this afternoon. And he's now made progress down Liverpool's right to find Dalgleish. Oh, and great running by Souness in the centre here. And by McDermott coming through now, but he ran offside, McDermott. Again, an indication, though, of how much work Liverpool do off the ball. Players coming almost unnoticed from deep positions. Phil Neal finding time to get forward now. Dalglish. Souness has got Adam Kennedy square. 
little deflection on the shot and Di Davis forced to get down quickly Dalglish and Hazi Abdic Dalglish oh, rolled it back behind Rush Sunis and now Kennedy again and McDermott and it was a question there of whether Liverpool could play the final pass Davis who managed to parry the deflected shot there's Craig Johnston he's following up as well certainly had an energetic game and here's Stevenson Curtis making the run down the left for Swansea Leighton James and here's Ray Kennedy good effort fine save Ray Kennedy against his old club. The best one's the effort of the afternoon. Fine response from Bruce Grobelock. Warm applause then in a corner to Swansea. And well taken by a goalkeeper whose confidence is very high indeed. Stevenson. Hazi Abdic. And Liverpool again forcing Swansea to go back and square. Look at Delgleish there. The appetite and enthusiasm of the Liverpool team. An object lesson. Charles coming in though for Swansea. Here's McDermott. Lee Lawrenson and the interchange has released some space on the left for Liverpool with Alan Kennedy Dalglish off the chest to Johnston 3-0 and it was made to look so, so simple. Alan Kennedy on the left-hand side. The ball played into Delglish. What a lovely piece of chest control that was. And Craig Johnston clipped his shot as the defender challenged and beat Davis down by his near post. So, with six minutes left, a comprehensive victory here for Liverpool. Just one short now of the four they scored here last January. But after conceding six goals in their last two league matches, Liverpool will be just as pleased, I'm sure, about keeping a clean sheet if they succeed in that at the other end as they are in scoring three. But Swansea have got time perhaps to puncture that a little. Jeremy Charles is the time for a late consolation for Swansea. Curtis. Leighton James. Shot blocked by Alan Kennedy and now it's Johnston returning it to him. Dermott. Lee. McDermott shakes to go one way and goes the other to find Dalglish. Five Liverpool players involved in this move so far, but the pass from Sunes goes astray. Idol gets a little bit frantic right at the end. Graham Sunes, the Liverpool player involved, with a fairly hefty challenge on Rykovic. don't think the referee need prolong this because he's well into injury time as it is
Well, Liverpool seem to spot a Swansea weakness very early in this match. They attacked persistently down the Liverpool left in the first half. Both their goals then came from that flank. So did the third one in the second half. And their defence, with Mark Lawrence now standing at number five, kept a nice tidy sheet after conceding six goals in their last two league matches. So all in all, another very impressive Liverpool performance on a day when Swansea, with their players perhaps thinking a little bit about next Wednesday, didn't really perform to do themselves justice. Well, Swansea supporters, who are renowned for their readiness to applaud good play by the visitors, would have been mesmerised by Liverpool's magic. Their teamwork was devastating. It's simple, it's based on unselfish running, and the ability of the players to see and find each other at the drop of a hat. They've got a reservoir of talent and quick thinking at their disposal. We just examine the way they get a couple of their goals. The ball spread to the right from Lawrence in there, but look how Phil Neal, when he needs to, toe pokes off a first-time pass to the waiting player again, creating the space and the time for Kennedy on the other side of the field. It's a delightful floated chip that he whips up here, but once again, a first-time pass. It's a chess pass and it's a first-time shot, helped in with the aid of a deflection. One of the goals. This one originated from a corner, and they don't lose the ball uh, from that position. Dalgleish was the man who took the corner. Number 10 there, Hodgson, does the dummy, quick thinking, because Dalgleish is still spare. Nobody bothered to pick him up from the moment that he took the kick. And of course, it looks the simplest thing in the world for Ian Rush there to finish it off. Simplicity itself. But just let's look at another feature of Liverpool and the most important one. There are no stars, they all work for each other, not only when they have the ball, but when they don't have it. Ian Rush shapes up to hit this volley really well and on target and could be excused standing there to admire it for a moment. But as Davis shapes up to throw the ball to the vacant spot there, you can see that Rush hasn't stopped. Liverpool haven't got the ball, he wants it to create yet another chance with that perfect chip. Well, that's the standard the rest have to beat to upset Bob Paisley's last season. And whoever succeeds Bob will inherit a powerful squad with plenty of life in them yet, which will include their £900,000 buy from Brighton, Mark Lawrenson, who seems now to be part of the furniture at Anfield. I think, you know, the way we played, um, and we passed the ball to red shirts, and uh, we made it very, very difficult for Swansea to get the ball. And uh, I think all the time you're doing that, you're pulling people out of position and creating chances. And uh, we scored three goals and won 3 now. But if the secret is so simple, or if there is no secret, why do Liverpool keep winning year after year when other teams can't seem to master it? Um, I don't really think there is a secret. Uh, you know, I think if you don't give the ball away, um, you don't allow other teams to play. And also if you close other teams down, you know, you deny them space. And I think the thing with Liverpool is that they've always seemed to have bought sort of good players and not too many untried players, and players they know who can play in the first division and play to their style. You're playing in a position where obviously there's lots of competition. Alan Hansen currently out the side, obviously. I mean, how much does that really keep top players on their toes? I think that's probably, if there is going to be a secret, that may be it at Liverpool. The fact that, you know, you could probably call upon 16, 17 players who would do the business for them in the team. And so you're going to have five or six out every week. So you know you've got to play well in order to keep your place. One thing I noticed is that even senior players who have been around a long time, like Kenny Dalgleish, their appetite for doing the basics in the game still seems to be totally unaffected. Yeah, I think that's right. I think if you, you came down and saw us training, it, it's the same way. Um, it's very competitive. You know, we, we played in training the same way as we play on a Saturday or, or on a weekday. You know, we want to keep the ball and want to keep the opposition out and, you know, score goals all the time. How much is said in the week at Anfield about tactics and the way that you play? Very, very little. Um, really, the boss just gives us our heads and lets us go out and play. It's as simple as that. He believes he's probably got, you know, a squad of the best players in uh, England. And uh, he just lets us go out and play and dictate the way we're going to play ourselves. And in a word, is, is possession the key to it? Yes, I would say so. If you don't give the ball away, you're always going to have a chance, I would say.